Lindsay Ed Nadal. Uh, Jane Curtin is here. Her new movie, Can You Ever Forgive Me? It's in theaters Friday in New York and LA. Other cities to fire. You can see Harvey's Torch Song at the Hayes Theater on Broadway. Kinky Boots is still going, guys. It closes in April. Steven Reinecke uh, is the musical director and conductor of the New York Cops at Carnegie Hall. I believe I came to a benefit of yours that was black tie wearing a denim suit once. It was you did. 2014. Yes. <laughs> came with Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, it she was, was our my date. Gala. We were honoring Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman. It yes. was quite a night. And I was in a denim suit. Yes. <laughs> and it was black tie. It was very embarrassing. You looked great. Thank you very much. Uh, excuse me. Uh, so, but we were saying we were saying during the break. I was just asking you about the dynamics of SNL, and you were saying that as the kind of um, comedy troupe, you all weren't really recognized. It was really about making the host look exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, that's so interesting. And then when you left, I mean, as as it went on and on, because in my mind, you're one of the originals, and you're you you guys started it all. So I guess in my mind, you're so revered, but you never ultimately felt that way? No. No. No, 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 no. We were the hired help. Wow. And, and you know, we were, we were paid. Yes, Not yes. greatly. Right, we were right. not paid a lot of money. But we were paid, and we did our job. But our, our perks were getting to do the show. Right. That was the, that was the perk. But we were never acknowledged. What, what is your relationship, uh, the, what has your relationship been with Lauren Michaels as the years have gone by? Anything? Well, Lauren, um, I think it was maybe the third season of the show. Um, Lauren, when John was misbehaving terribly and I had approached Lauren and I said, you know, you, you got to do something. Right. This guy's going to die. You got to right. do something. Yeah. And he's, what can I do? What can I do? So, yeah, okay, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Right. <laughs> then what's the point? There's no point. So I stopped talking to him wow. because there was no point in communicating. And so what happened was that if he wanted me to do something, he would tell Gilda, and Gilda would ask me to do it, and I said, sure. And she would say, sure. Right. And so that was our relationship. <coughs> really? Because there, there, we couldn't, there was, no, there was nothing there. And did there you have no any interaction at the 40th? I thanked him. You did? I did, because what he did was very generous. You mean and I appreciated it. What he did, what do you mean? For us. It? Right. And it, w it came about, I think it was Tom Davis's death. I love Tom Davis, Franken and Davis. Tom mm -hmm. Davis and Al Franken, two wonderful people. And, and Tom Davis died recently of throat cancer. And we were all at, at the uh, memorial service. Yeah. And Billy Murray went up to Lauren and said, you know something, we're, getting, we're not getting any younger. And maybe it's time you did something for us. Hence the 40th. Really? Yeah. Wow. So Lauren was generous enough to do that for us, and I appreciate it. Right. Tremendously. And that really meant a lot to you. Oh my! 40th. It meant yeah. it meant so much to everybody that was there. Yeah. It was great. It was one of the best nights ever. Right. Right. Were you there? I was at the party. I was at the party, and it was incredible. Yeah. And did you stay for a long time yeah. at that party? Yeah. Yeah. You did. Well, I wasn't gonna leave. Yeah. No. <laughs> Right. I'm part of it. Right. Remember me? That's right. <laughs> That's what it's right. like. That's yeah. amazing. Um, Harvey, Hannah W. wants to know if you've heard anything from Disney since you've been campaigning to play Ursula in the new Little Mermaid movie. <laughs> um, I haven't been campaigning. Um, Yet. But I did, I did sing Ursula with this gentleman <coughs> conducting me at you did. Carnegie Hall. You did. I sang it, so, um, and, and Alan Menken is a, is a dear friend. He was at my house today. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, and he's heard me sing it, and he loves it. And I saw Rob Marshall the other day. Wow. So. There you go. <laughs> um, by the way, we want to shout out uh, some of our voters for People's Choice Awards. Jonathan in Minnesota, Selena Mai, Melly Cupcakes, and Bitsy Mama. Thank you guys for your votes. Uh, let's go to Bridget from St. Louis. Hey, Bridget, what's your question? Hey, Andy, um, from St. Louis, go Blues. Uh, my question is for Jane. Okay. I love you, by the way, Jane. I was just wondering if you ever kept in contact with any of your former SNL uh, cast members. Who are you still in contact with? Oh, God. I'm, I, I still see Billy from time to time. Um, I've, I've worked with Dan about three years ago. Uh, we were all together back in November at um, the 
Academy of Television Arts and Sciences induction into the Television Academy Hall of Fame. <laughs> nice. As a group, nice. Um, nice. but the best reunion we had, and it wasn't everybody, it couldn't be all of us, we all couldn't be there, but when Billy was um, uh, given the Mark Twain Award, uh -huh. we, we were down in Washington to laud Billy, yeah. and he deserves it. Um, and th what they do when you when you go for these um, uh, award ceremonies the night before they you have, have dinner. dinner yeah and our dinner was in the Supreme Court building hosted wow. by Sonia Sotomayor Wow wearing a lovely sparkly top Wow <laughs> <laughs> she looked really pretty that's amazing and it was I mean it was awesome and we were being bawdy and rude yeah. and loud As in you the should. Supreme Court building. It was just an amazing experience. You love Billy Murray, huh? I adore Billy yeah. Murray. Yeah. You know what? I adore Billy. I adore Danny. I adore Garrett. Garrett was so funny at the Hall of Fame <laughs> induction ceremony. He just makes me laugh. I love all of those yeah. people because we went through World War I together. You really did. Yeah. Yeah, you really did. Uh, let's go to Joanne, also from St. Louis. Hey, Joanne, what's your question? Hi, Andy. How are you tonight? Great. So, I'm so happy to be with Jane and Harvey and you. Yes, go St. Louis. Uh, love the card. They're out of it now. What's your question? I know, but Kansas City's still alive. All right. Well, <laughs> what's your question? <laughs> My question is for Harvey. Okay. And, and I was wondering if he was ever mistaken for Harvey Weinstein. Were you ever mistaken for Harvey Weinstein? Really? I was just in D.C. at the Atlanta uh, Festival. The, 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 you know, speaking at the Atlanta Magazine as this big yes. festival, and I was interviewed. I mean, it was it was uh, Camilla Harris was just before me, oh, and wow. and I was the next guest, and I and I spoke. And as I was leaving the stage, the the gentleman who ha who had interviewed me said, "Everybody, let's hear it for Harvey Weinstein." Oh! <laughs> and I just I said, "Should I let it pass?" No, I'm a comedian, so I turned ah. back and I said. Lock him up. I mean, right. <laughs> Let's go to Kim from New Jersey. I can't imagine anybody uh, ever. Kim, what's your question? Hi, Andy. I just, my question is Jay and Harvey are such icons. I'm wondering what their feelings are on the Kardashians. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you were on SNL now, you would probably be. I would probably be playing. Putting a big Kim. fake butt on. And yeah, yes. I would be. And we I'd actually, be, and I'd be playing you, the butt. Hold we on. actually did. <laughs> We did, did the wide ass. You did the wide the wide the asses, yes, right? Yes, the wide ass. Yes, the wide was the precursor <coughs> to, the to the Kardashians. Kardashians yes. Thank you very much. That was a hilarious it sketch on SNL. It made me laugh so hard. Me too, and it was about a family With who had hips. huge asses, basically. <laughs> that was so ahead Tiny of little its... bodies on top, but That's great so funny. Uh, Jane, Rebecca <clears throat> H said, Tina Fey has said she feels indebted to you. Do you feel indebted to anyone? Who were your role models coming up? I had a lot. Did, yeah? Yeah, I had um, all of those great sidekicks. Yeah. Eve Arden, um, Kara Williams that nobody remembers. Uh -huh. um, oh, God, Betty White. Um, all of those women that yeah. were on television before me that uh, they were the sidekick. I wanted to be the sidekick. Melly Cupcakes wants to know, besides yourself, who's your favorite SNL Weekend Update host? Oh, wow. Um, I can't pick one. I yeah. can't, because they're all so different. They are. They're very and different. And they have to be. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Christine from Miami. Hey, Christine, what's your question? <laughs> I'm nervous. Hi, Andy. You're so awesome. Thanks. My question is for Harvey. Okay. Hi, Harvey. I was I wondering, how was it working with um, the great Robin Williams on Miss Doubtfire? We, um, I loved Robin. We were, we, we had a, a relationship. We had done some stand up together, um, and then, and then he asked me to play his brother and Mrs. Doubtfire, and we just, we had the best time. We had a relationship that went on from there, and I, and I miss him. Oh, very sweet. Um, all right, well, you guys just have blown me away tonight. What a, what an absolutely great experience. Um, you guys can go see Torch Song on Broadway. Uh, I really highly recommend it.
Jane's movie is called Can You Ever Forgive Me? It's in theaters Friday in New York and L.A. with other cities to follow. And, of course, Kinky Boots is out now. Thank you, Stephen, so much. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.